last night, Saturn at opposition. Tonight, I'm going to take a look at Neowise the Comet once again. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. Boy, oh, and it is hot over here. This is Savannah Pat trying to stay cool in these dog days of July and August. Dog days? Why do we even call them dog days? I don't see any dogs out here. As a matter of fact, it really has nothing to do with the canines here on Earth, but it does have a lot to do with the canine up in the heavens, Canis Major and Canis Minor, particularly Canis Major. That means the greater dog, one of the dogs of Orion the Hunter. And Canis Major uh, is also known as the star Sirius. Sirius is the brightest star up in the sky, next to our sun, of course. And even a loose translation in the uh, Greeks uh, have it as the scorcher star. A lot of the reasons why it's called the dog days of July and August is because the star Sirius, or the dog star, rises at the same time as the sun. That's called a helical rising of the star. And in the ancient times, it was believed that the scorcher, or Sirius, added some of that extra heat to the earth, giving us those hot and lazy days of summer. But it has nothing to do with your pet dog, or pet cat in my case, it has all to do with the heavenly star Sirius in the Canis Major or the constellation of the greater dog. Did I mention it is hot and humid? I am sweating just standing here. The planet Saturn last night was at opposition. That means the Earth was directly between the Sun and the planet Saturn. That's when we get our best view of any planets, when it's at opposition. And last night, it was Saturn's turn. Just a couple of weeks ago, actually about 10 days ago, it was Jupiter that was at opposition, but last night, it was Saturn. I photographed the uh, image. Uh, it, what was that? I photographed the planet last night, took several attempts at it to uh, try to see if I can get a good picture, or perhaps even my best picture, of the planet Saturn. I took a lot of AVI files, a 1,000 images, 2,000 images, and even up to 3,000 images, and then tried to compress them together in the stacking program, either through uh, AutoStackard or Registack. And I put the images together, and with that came the results. Last night, it was only about a little uh, under 900 million miles away. Uh, the exact figure is uh, something around 837 million miles. Anyway, it's at the bottom of the screen. But tonight, I'm going to turn the camera around and look at, again, Comet Neowise. Now, I, I captured the comet the other night on the 18th of July, and it was over in the northwestern sky, just below the Big Dipper. Well, since then, it has climbed a little bit higher up in the sky. So instead of using the Canon camera that I used the other night, I'm going to use the Orion ED80T telescope with the 8 tenth reducer on there, so that'll give me a wide field of view, a 4.8 uh, F ratio, if you want to have it at that. And the problem though, as I just mentioned, it's hot out here, and I gotta take the telescope, which is over there, and bring it back over to here, so that I can get the clear view of the northwestern sky. Oh, grabbed it. Here we go. All right, up the wire, okay. Thing it's not all that light. Still a lot lighter than the CGM and the CGX mount. Gotta navigate around these borders here. And the bricks. Yeah, it's easier doing it this way though, than taking it apart and putting it back together again. Almost there, and down we go. All right, roughly aiming at the North Polar Star. Celestial pole, not quite, there it is. Pretty close. I don't think I have to be perfectly polar aligned for this tonight, since I'll be taking quick shots of the comet and do some minor tracking. But uh, here it is, oh by the way, did I tell you? It's hot. Oh. 
It's now about an hour and 15 minutes past sunset, and Comet Neowise is up in the northwestern sky at the bottom portion of Ursa Major, commonly known as the Big Dipper. What a tail on this thing. Beautiful images coming in right now with the ED80 telescope, and I'm recording at 30 second intervals, and I'm gonna go for one half hour. That'll give me 60 frames. From there, I'll stack this in Deep Sky Stacker, and then process it in Pixinsight and then Photoshop. Here is the results. Well, let me tell you, yeah, it is certainly the dog days of July and August. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay cool and remember, stay safe. Cover your face when out in public with a mask. And unless you need rain, and we need a lot of rain right now here in Savannah. Clear skies, everyone. By the way, I got a new toy. It's a fly zapper. I'm out here at night, those mosquitoes. Yeah.